Indian population, especially in Oklahoma, face a number of health challenges. So that includes hypertension, obesity, impaired glucose. And so that's what we tend to see most in our patient population. We also see real challenges in the social determinants of health. They don't have very good access to health care. They um, oftentimes have trouble gaining uh, meaningful employment. Transportation is always the issue that we're trying to overcome for our patients, and even access to healthy foods. Thank you all for coming today. This is our blood pressure class. Let me get one of these blood pressure monitors out, and let's check your blood pressure. Kathy Waller is our diabetes programs manager. She's been here for over 20 years. She's a dietitian, diabetes educator, who brings such a passion and compassion to her patients. You're gonna be getting a home blood pressure monitor that was donated to us by the American Heart Association. Let's say you have high blood pressure. Think about what that's doing to your kidneys day in and day out. So many of my patients have hypertension and chronic kidney disease, which just breaks my heart because it's not, it's not necessary. It, that is not something that didn't have to happen. So now by really focusing on getting them to check their blood pressure so that we can get them on the correct blood pressure medications and a better diet so that they don't have to develop chronic kidney failure. We have an on-site fitness facility that is staffed by four of our personal trainers. They can see the personal trainer or work out alone. All right, awesome job today. Way to go, make sure you're high. We also offer virtual personal training to those patients who, who can't make it into our facility. We just try to meet the patient where they are, find out what they're gonna be interested in and engaged in and stay attuned to. We are able to provide food preparation demonstrations and sometimes cooking classes. Well, hello everyone, my name's Jess. It's nice to see you all come from the Ponca Natatishani tribe. This dish is traditionally kind of something that they just throw together with whatever they have left over, right? It's gonna feed your family because it makes a good amount of servings. You can save a lot of fat grams, a lot of calories by using something like this. The American Heart Association has been instrumental for us to be able to provide better screening of hypertension within our patients. And that includes giving monitor to our patients so they can take that home. I think a lot of my patients wouldn't have the money to purchase a home blood pressure monitor. And if they have the evidence, that's so great about a blood pressure monitor. They can see what level they're on, what category they're in, then they know whether they're fine or not. We have people who live in an urban area uh, might be different on the reservation or closer to your tribal home. So I am Native American and I grew up in western, northwestern Oklahoma. I grew up in the Indian Health Service System. That's all I ever knew. And you will find that across our campus. Most, if not all, of our employees really have a love for this population and, and really want to help to see them succeed. My patients became my family and I feel about them as if they truly are my family, and that's how I take care of them. We're an urban clinic. We do not receive money from tribes. I just want our patients to have as good as everyone else. And I feel like most of our employees here feel that way or they wouldn't be here.